It's an old house that sits off the beaten path of old Jericho Turnpike, quietly tucked away at the end of the street, standing firmly despite its aged appearance. But it's not your average old house. It's a home that's rooted in history and is rumored to be a stop on the Underground Railroad. This is what the house looked like in the right here. It was home to Elias Hicks, seen here in this photo along with a picture of a hand-drawn map of Jericho from the I late 17 to early 1800s. Oh, yeah. The hamlet was later destroyed to set up a new traffic pattern. Betsy Murphy is a local historian and librarian with Jericho Public Library. All the houses and the buildings, the stores, were all, post office, everything was bulldozed. Prior to that, it became a safe haven for runaway slaves with Quaker turned abolitionist Elias Hicks at the helm. Hicks often traveled miles. He rode from Ohio to Maryland to even upstate New York, preaching Quaker beliefs about living the simple life, being closer to God, and that meant freeing slaves. He was convinced by the Quaker meeting to go around and push abolition and freeing the slaves that they all owned. They mentioned in letters that they did take people in, in their back of the wagon under the produce into the city. Probably Whitestone was a very popular place to cross over to Connecticut because they had to row them in those days. And it didn't take long for others within the Jericho community to follow suit. There's stories that Valentine Hicks had opened his door when a runaway slave came and he hid him in the house and said to the the fellow chasing him, no, I didn't see anybody. Within one year, Elias Hicks was responsible for freeing approximately 135 slaves in this area. He went on to help get legislation passed in New York State to abolish slavery in the early 1800s. Now, centuries later, his home still stands. It's now a part of the Jericho Historic Preserve. As for Hicks, he fulfilled his life's mission to help others become free. In death, his legacy lives on. In Jericho, Stacey Ann Gooden, PIX11 News.